But me not wanting to drive more so just had to do with the fact that I just didn't want to drive. But truly, it's four tires <laughs> and a hunk of metal. Like, I don't care if you hear Japan, US, or anywhere else. Probably like, not India. Nah, not India. I ain't driving it. <laughs> the Doritos are different. The Dor Dorito flavors are different, right? You think blue bag in the States, what do you think? Cool Ranch. All day, every day. I want the 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 seasoning on my fingers so yes. I can lick it off at the end. Look. To my South African brothers and sisters, right? I definitely want to see you all chime in in the comments. What's up, beautiful people? And welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, don't keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't Keep Up With The Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The What's up, beautiful people, to another episode of the Jones Family Channel. It's me, Ricky Jones Jr. We also have the oh so lovely Crystal Jones back again for another video in which we are so excited to do and excited to have you with us, largely because we are here to share our journey, right? Our story of being an expat here in South Africa, as well as like some tips and <laughs> things to help you along your way. Now, largely because we've been here now just over eight months, believe it it's or not crazy. like it's been going by so fast it has. and um i mean the memories are galore the experiences are galore yeah. the highs and lows more highs very little lows uh yeah. but at the end of the day like in it all with it all we sitting back now reflecting thinking on what it's like to be an ex back here and i think that as others we're seeing more people comment in the comment section looking forward to make the move people sending us emails and things talking about them wanting to make the move or even doing a visit and are thankful for the videos that we're doing yeah. but then as well people in the comments south africans right specifically being in the comments saying welcome home thank you well we're excited for you being here welcome uh to the all the various welcome greetings that we're yeah. getting like it's so beautiful right and with it all in it all it's like all right with the opportunity to reflect with the opportunity to think on the things that we've experienced the things that we've done i think one of the main thoughts that comes to mind is a reminder right and you know you may be thinking like what do you what, what a reminder of what a reminder that you are in a new space you are in a new area yeah. you are another country hello you're another country and i think it's interesting to have to say that right however you'll be reminded of that in various ways right just for me one of the ways is sometimes in the food i'm a snack person i love snacks <laughs> right and growing snacks. up you're accustomed to the snacks that yeah. you're used to right and so that's been fun that's been fun doing little polls and things like that asking people for snacks that they would recommend and then to realize that we all don't have the same taste buds right you know what i'm saying right. like who would have thunk it? You yeah. would think people are people and people have the same taste, but no, 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 no. Your taste buds are grown in you from a child, yes. right? Based off of what you have. The seasonings and spices that you grew up with. Correct. All those things stack upon each other year after year, decade upon decade to create what you like. And so exploring the snack world here has been fun, right? Different things taste differently. And so what I'm not doing, right? I'm speaking specifically to the commenters. What I'm not doing is complaining. What I am doing is emphasizing the differences and changes by yeah. saying the Oreos, right? Just you would think an Oreo is an Oreo because I'm looking on the box and it says Oreo. No, it's different, right? Not different yeah. in a bad way, but just different. The Cokes are different. The Sprites are different. The Doritos are different. The Dor Dorito flavors are different, right? You think blue bag in the States, what do you think? Cool Ranch. All day, every day. I want the 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 seasoning on my fingers so yes. I can lick it off at the end. A little tangy, little... Ugh. Hello, but here, it's, I think it's like sweet chili or yeah, something like that. Different. Right? The red bag is different. Uh, the orange bag is different. The purple bag is It took Mr. Green. Handsome at least three months to stop thinking he was seeing the Cool Ranch flavor. Yeah. He's like, I want the blue bag. I'm like, that's not what you think. <laughs> yeah, it's not what it is. It's not what it is. However, what it is is actually good. Yeah. However, you just have to open the bag and eat it to know that it is a difference. It's different. However, it's something different that you can enjoy in its own, you know, respective way. Yeah. And so there's that. But then I even come 
very acquainted and a lover of Biscoff cookies. Like, and usually in the States, I wouldn't eat it unless we were taking a flight on Delta. Right, like, right. it was a Delta treat. However, now we can buy it in the store and it's a delicacy. We have them right in the fridge. Conveniently, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm always ready at the end of the day. But all that to say, like, it's little things like that, that, you know, it's a tip. It's a tip because when you do, and I'm saying this to say, whether it's South Africa that you're moving to, uh, Guatemala, Colombia, the UK, Derb, I was about to say Derby, like Rainbow, ah, Dubai, Japan. Australia, Japan, right? Like, no matter what place. Know. Yes, no matter what place you may find yourself relocating to, there will be things that are different there yeah. as opposed to what you are accustomed to. The funny thing is, I just saw on like Facebook the other day where Ireland stopped selling McDonald's. Like, There's no McDonald's in oh, Ireland, wow. and I think they stopped back in 2009 or something like that. But all that to say, like, hey, if you're a McDonald's foodie, McDonald's is going to be a little bit different here as opposed to what you use in the states and they have more options right and so it tastes the, good here like in the states better. we have really like stopped eating mcdonald's yeah. but the mcdonald's here is better because it is halal and mm. so yeah, like it tastes McDonald's. better yeah. and so i will eat it here but in the states i'm like i'm really not trying to go there it's like if there's no other option but mm -hmm. i agree the food is different here i find myself even with cooking um i literally made bread from scratch yeah. <laughs> i make cinnamon rolls from scratch yeah. i make cookies from scratch cakes pancakes. from scratch pancakes from scratch like so many different things and that has been like you said there's different adjustments but there have been amazing adjustments mm -hmm. because i actually enjoy it and it tastes good and i know it's healthier because mm -hmm. it doesn't have all those preservatives and stuff right like but the key part is why you had to won't say why you had to right why you made those things which i was gonna say because yeah. like in the states like there's everything you can buy frozen not frozen but it's in the cold ready section ready-made cinnamon rolls you mm -hmm. just put it in the oven mm -hmm. you can buy frozen cookies and you just break it off and put it in the oven like yeah. there's these different things that you can shortcuts. buy and yeah a lot of shortcuts and obviously you guys have bread here but once you have all the ingredients you're like well might as well try it uh, <laughs> you know so it's funny though because there's so many shortcuts and with those shortcuts come a lot of unhealthy preservatives. Very true. So, it, but in the states, you don't really think about it. You mm -hmm. just grab it and oh, well, then I'll just pop no. it in the oven, do it like this. When you really, truly, which I'm learning, you can do it at home yourself, yeah. and it's actually not that hard. It tastes better and it's healthier for you. So even when it comes to food, those are some of the adjustments we've had to make. But really good adjustments that i'm sure i'm going to continue to carry with me mm. wherever we go mm. because it's like actually why not just do this and i've met some other people that are americans that also they bake bread at home now yeah. and things like that and it's just like they realize as well oh i might as well just do this myself mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah food is an adjustment for sure yeah but a lot of good adjustments in a lot of ways. Very true. And even with in the realm of food, we well, I've learned, I think we have, because in our communications, is that you can travel to different like stores and grocery stores in different parts mm -hmm. of Johannesburg and you, one, will pay different prices at different places, right? And it's yeah. like, oh, okay, well, let me just journey out a little further from Santon, right? Which I understand to be a very high area. A more high area. end, yeah. Correct, high air, high, what'd you say? In. High end area, boom shakalaka. And so, you know, let me venture out a little bit because at the end of the day, we all trying to save coins. If there's a coin to be saved, we all trying to save it, okay? Whether it's a rand, dollar, a euro, or whatever it is. A Anything Frankenstein. in between. Come on, we all trying to save it. But at the end of the day, what I have learned and a tip for us all is that you can venture out from your neighborhood and sometimes you'll find a deal if that's what you're looking for or you'll find something else right and with that being said not all grocery stores are the same right yeah a grocery store could look away in one shopping center or one mall and then you journey off to another one and you're like whoa looks totally different hello and i'm the grocery shopper predominantly i would say for yeah. our family i just be doing snacks and it's a challenge for me that I'm truly still adjusting to because in the States, if you go to Publix, the name of a store means something. Mm -hmm. Like 
if you're out of Publix, no, there's a certain standard. It's just not going to drop under because it is a Publix. Shopping here is like, a pleasure. Shopping there is a pleasure. They're going to go out their way. They're going to do everything to yeah. get you whatever it is you want, even if they got to order it. Like, that is true. It's. A, a thing and so if you go to an Albertson, if you go to a Winn-Dixie, if you go to a Walmart. Save a lot, a Walmart. Wa well Walmart's not really like a grocery store but I mean, you got neighborhood like, Walmart. Yeah that's true. Yeah, I, I love, hate that thing. I love Walmart. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Walmart fanatic. You know what I'm saying? If y'all like Walmart let me know in the comment section if, for, for what people in the States. That neighborhood Walmart look dusty. I love but Walmart. But anyways when there's a store has a certain name there's yeah. a certain standard that comes with it. Here, it's not like, it doesn't seem that that standard is always carried across the board. So you can go to one and it's extremely nice. Except for and Woolworths. You can, yeah, I would say Woolworths is very consistent. Yeah. I don't think I've ever been to a Woolworths that wasn't what it's supposed to be. But like, you can go to one grocery store and it's like, oh man, because I know we were talking about, oh, we love the Super Spar. We love yeah. the Super Spar. And people are like, the super spot and we're like I yeah right. and waterfall and they're like right. oh that one right. okay and so for us though i didn't know it it could it be changed. so different yeah. and i did roll by a super spot that was not in waterfall and i was like oh i'm, I'm gonna keep rolling <laughs> I'm gonna let the wheels keep on. I like the water like, rose bank too. Yeah, uh -huh. so, but yeah, that one's not, but it could be hit or miss. Yeah. And so that's an adjustment. Um, just figuring out where to shop sometimes for groceries because yeah. I personally like consistency. Yeah. And when it comes to like fruit and vegetables and meat quality and stuff, especially like, I just like to know. I came here and it's gonna be everything gonna be fresh every yeah. time, whatever location I'm in, but I'm finding. It's different. Yeah. And the I mean, stores are different. Yeah. Area. There it is. And so, even to that, we talk about how we find some pick and pays that we like. Uh, grocery stores. Some joints are like, whoa. I didn't know the pick and pay by us was not doing us the justice, the justice. that it could be. Like, right. I was. You know, went to some. I was like, oh, yeah, snap. I'm that, at home. Where I went were at we? the mark. Ferndale? Fernand? Oh, yeah, yeah. Over there by the uh, mini putt The situation. mini golf. That is yeah. a nice pick and that pay. That is very nice. We're in Sanson, there's a pick and pay. And I'm thinking this pick and pay, I hate going there. Whenever Ricky wants something <laughs> and it's like, not in the it's works. not in the Woolworths. It's like, oh, but you got to go to pick and pay. I'm like, I don't want to go in there. Pick I and like pay. pick and like, pay. Like, I don't. It's like Walmart. That, yes, it's that particular one. It's mm -hmm. not up to the standard of some of the other pick and pays. We went by the other pick and pay in Ferndale. Yeah. I said, hold on. Yeah. That pick and pay. I didn't know. Level. I said I would come to this pick and pay. Like Whole so. We did a vlog on it. Yeah, it's just it could be totally different. Yeah. And that's not. I would say in the states, which could be a good thing or a bad thing, if the grocery store is not going to be able to be the standard that it needs to be, you're not going to see that brand of grocery store in that area. Nah, some people just don't stay with the times, like Blockbuster. However, another thing that a lot of people talk about is the driving, right? And I think Crystal had a fun way of talking about it amongst others that felt like, you know, hey, I came down here and I don't think I'm gonna be driving. But nonetheless, even before she shares that, I definitely wanna just talk about it by saying, you have to get out there. Get out there, have fun yeah. on the road, and if you can, take a couple of days watching somebody else do it, right? That was what we did. We watched, we did Ubers for the first trip here. And so we had the opportunity just to get a feel for the lay of the land, get a feel for how people interact at intersections and what takes place during load shedding, like all those things you wanna have in mind and keep in mind. However, yeah. I will say, uh, <laughs> it's not consistent, right? Like once you behind the wheel, it's a whole nother scenario situation, right? But at the end of the day, it all can be done. You can drive out here, all is well, right? And um, you'll be all right. You'll be all right at the end of the day. However, yeah. our tip for the matter is ride with somebody first. Like if it's your first time here and maybe it's your first time driving on the opposite side, don't, 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 don't. Not the first day. Not the first day. See what it's like first and then get out there. However, for the people that say they're going to move down here and they're not going to drive at all, my dear, what would you have to say to them? Yeah, I mean, because I didn't really plan to drive. I had this idea in my mind I was just going to be this kept woman. You kept my by God. Husband was going to drive me everywhere and I would just be chauffeured and just not drive anywhere. Mm. But Ooh, that sounds good. He, like, that sounds like a dream worth dreaming. That dream for me. 
within a week of us getting our car, yeah, yeah, probably yeah. less. Like, yeah. I think I probably drove the rental. Like, and, mm, well, maybe me. not the rental. No. But as soon as we got our car, he's yeah. like, so you gonna go ahead and go pick up the kids? I was like, wait, what? Mm-hmm. I don't wanna do that. <laughs> but me not wanting to drive more so just had to do with the fact that I just didn't wanna drive. But truly, it's four tires <laughs> and a hunk of metal. Like, I don't care if you hear Japan, U.S., or anywhere else. Probably like, not India. Nah, not India. I ain't driving <laughs> it. <laughs> India is terrifying. Like, to see that, oh my gosh. But, like, I'm just, India is the one only place I would say I do refuse to drive. Okay. Google it. You'll see exactly why. Um, But it's like, ultimately, definitely going with a defensive driver thought, not like, you know, being aggressive and whatever. And it's like just that. it's just four wheels. Like if yeah. you can do four wheels in the States, you could do four wheels in Johannesburg. Mm-hmm. Like it's actually not that complicated. You're on the other side of the road, so definitely I'll admit there are times I have to remember or Ricky will remind me, hey, other side. And I'm like, Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, and and so it is but normally that only happens when there's no other cars on the road. When there's other cars on the road, go behind the car in front of you. Mm-hmm. Go in the direction the signs are the signs are facing you. Like it's very simple things. You pull up to a red light and the light is facing the other way, you know something's off here. Like <laughs> it might be too late. You know? <laughs> but again, that type of mistake would really only happen if you're the only one there. Because yeah. outside of that, you're following the other people behind you. Mm-hmm. So when you put it in the concept of just going with the flow of traffic, like yeah. It's actually not that hard to drive. I know a lot of people, especially women, um, tend to be nervous about driving here. If you could drive in the States, you could do it here. Yeah. Being on the other side of the road, it helps that the steering wheel is also on the other side. Correct. So now if you drive in a car and you're trying to drive a car where the steering mm-hmm. wheel is still on the mm-hmm. left side and now you're driving on the right side. Now, listen, you asking for foolishness, but... The steering wheel being on the other side, the right right side, you driving on the left side, like it's more, it's so much more natural than you would actually think. That's good. Just go with the flow of traffic and be a defensive driver. Yeah. And so I like how you said that because she's speaking to you all, but she's also speaking to me because while we were driving the other day, she said, huh. I've noticed that you become an aggressive driver rather than a defensive driver. And I was like, yeah, man, like I'm tired of these taxis like tripping and like doing all this stuff. Like I'm tired of this. Like, nah, I'm not taking this stuff. No Ricky more. has like these random things that like he's the most calm person, okay. but there's like these little boxes that the mm. enemy knows. Like if I do this, it'll get him to just explode. And it's like, yeah, for why? Yeah, I had an episode. One, it was the one time we went to the Gold Reef, and I had a moment, and like I had a moment. But nonetheless, thank God for my lovely wife for being able to talk me down, see that I was having a moment. But all that to say, what I want to say is about the taxis. A tip that I want to give you all that we found out that I will now be defensive rather than aggressive. Is Does that it's not worth it? It's not what I'm about to tell you, right? Some of these taxi drivers are protected right and protected by uh tools right i'm just use code names the code words i don't want to get flagged on on the youtube but nonetheless we found that out like we were told that by a local i like that we we were told that we didn't find out because that would imply that it was used against us right but nonetheless yes we were told by somebody that is south african that some of these taxi drivers you know they ride they ride with protection and they will protect themselves if you are not allowing for them to get into the lane or they feel like you doing too much you're being aggressive or you're to honking them, at them road raging them right road rage right like even though you feel like you being road rage however if you were to reciprocate what's being dealt it could be another situation so i said okay at the end of the day, most often we're driving as a family of four and I want to make sure our four get from point A to point B, even if it's a C and a D along the way, we're going to get back home, right? But all that to say, that's a tip that I want to give you all because yeah. again, after finding that out, I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to chill out because there were times 
when taxis was trying, you know, they'll they'll ride that lane and try to swerve over. No, no, no. I swerve too. I swerve before you swerve. I'd be like halfway. <laughs> I was doing a lot. I was doing a lot, y'all, but that's... It but he would do it in the States, too. Like, if he thinks somebody's going to cut in, and he'll try oh, yeah. to make sure he's in the middle. Yeah, but like it's that. because Ricky likes for people to follow the rules. I like And he, too. if he yeah. feels like you're not following the rules, he's going to take it upon himself to try to, especially on the road, to try especially to make you mm -hmm. operate inside of what the rules should be. And yeah. you know, he like to say what my daddy say all the time. You can't raise grown folk and you can't tell them what to do. That includes on the road. So Yeah, me too. People gonna find to right. But now I'm now I'm getting better. I'm people getting better, gonna find a way to do whatever reckless or whatever thing they're doing. Defensive driver. Do what you need to do to get to where you need to go safely. That's a tip. That's a tip and a jewel all at the same time, right? Like to know is to know, right? And if you don't, you don't, as someone say. But nonetheless, in it all, uh, one of the final things I'll say is that one of the things we learned here is that, you know what I'm saying? Things are done differently, right? And to go with the flow. There's a saying here that at first I hate it, but now I get it um, because it's, it's the way, right? And the, the yeah. phrase is no stress no stress we've shared stories about different challenges and things that we've dealt with specifically with the traffic register number if you haven't seen that video check yeah. it out it's very informative uh for people that are looking to drive that are foreigners yes. here in south africa it's very useful and there's a solution at the end however that experience has had really taught me right the art of no stress the art of there are ways that are done and there are ways that are accepted in countries that you may find yourself yes. in and just flow with it. Um, I can say when we would, cause we used to go to the Bahamas a lot and I'm an on time punctual person. Like that was something that was drilled in me largely due to my family and my parents being military. Mm -hmm. uh, it was like, if you're, you're on time, if you're late, you're on time. Oh, excuse me. If, if you're, you're on, on time, time, you're late. late right. Mm -hmm. And that was just the same. So I'm always punctual. However, in Bahamas, like, oh, it was like, if we had to be picked up by 10, it could be 10 15. They pull up 10, like 10 20, 10 40. <laughs> like, what's up, family? Meanwhile, I'm silent, mad, and just furious on the inside. But after going multiple times, I realized, all right, this is the Bahamian way. No stress, right? I, they call it island time or whatever. And I don't know nothing about it. I just know time. Time is time <laughs> because time is time. But nonetheless, here, right, I've learned the no stress mindset and no stress mentality. And I share with you all with the understanding that if you are looking to make the move, you are looking to visit, please come with it, right? Whether it's from getting food, going to a restaurant. Yeah. No stress. It's going to take its time. The food will eventually arrive at it's the gonna table. Take, it's going to take eventually. its time. Right. They want to get your drinks first. Then after they service your drinks, then they may take your appetizer. And then they may take your main, right? And, you know, you may be accustomed to the fact you sit down. I'm going to do everything one time. I had multiple servers tell me, hold on. No, 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 no. I'm only doing drinks right now. <laughs> and I had, to, I had to take it. You know what I'm saying? I had to take us. I had to realize, hey, I'm here. And I need to do and flow and function as it's done here, right? And so yeah. that's a mindset, a, a hat that I would say to wear, right? Being here, I've heard it said. However, I didn't embrace it or understand it until being here in these eight months. And so, boom, I, I share with you as we've shared Ubuntu, right? Which is the I am because you are what collects and gathers people together as one. I also share with you no stress. Receive it because it's going to be useful. Yes, and as you talk about processes, now listen, don't come for me in the comments because I know how much y'all love y'all banking systems. Uh, the thing is, oh. there's a lot of things that can be done in the banking, like apps and whatnot. Mm -hmm. However, when you did not grow up <laughs> doing all of these things inside of a banking app pretty much everything it's definitely an adjustment mm -hmm. to figure out how to navigate all that you see <laughs> on these banking platforms and things mm -hmm. and so i would say like that's just a major adjustment um that we've had to undergo and if oh, you're yeah. looking to make the move here like just know sometimes whatever different ways for paying for different things or navigating things through your banking app or what have you like don't allow yourself to get stressed mm -hmm. <laughs> as you try to figure it all out yeah i would say just know okay these are the pieces i'm gonna use 
to do the things that I need to do. Yeah. And, you know, as you're navigating paying different people for different things, obviously we pay school fees or different things like that. Don't get upset if it's like, why can't you just take my card? Like, why can't you? Why can't you just take my card number and, and make this happen? Or cash. Or cash. Like, and they are very strict about different things. And so they don't. <laughs> A lot of times they don't. Yeah. Um, in some places they're like, no, like, do your transfer from your bank. And in the States, specifically, I know I'm not finna let you auto draft anything from my account. Like, most people are not letting you auto draft from their account. Mm -hmm. In South Africa, Auto draft is a real thing where most people they just want to have your banking information on file and then when whatever charges and stuff come, they take it out. Like I said, in the States, no 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 no. Yeah. Especially I am in, in control of that. Hello. I am in control. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will give you this money when I want you to have it. Uh is more like the states mentality, which uh -huh. is why they're more so giving I'll give you this card number because then at the end of the day, if you do something wild and I don't want to deal with you, I'll just set this whole card off. Mm -hmm. You're not going to just have my banking information. Mm -hmm. So I think that's one of the adjustments that some places you you have to have it only that way. And so navigating all of that. Um, even refunds. Yeah. Right, even you, you pay with the card. The thought is, hey, just I'm put it back refund, on my card. Put it back on the card because that's what we're accustomed to. However, we've had to give our account number, passport. Yeah. It was something else that you had to give, and it came. It did come the next yeah. day. However, address. Right. It's just a little bit more information <laughs> than steps. we would be accustomed to, or even used to, or even comfortable. Truth be told, with right. giving. However, it's no stress. Receive it. No stress. No stress. It's <laughs> no the way. Stress. And oftentimes it's written, right? And so it's it's not that somebody's trying to get over on you right. or anything like that, right? Remember Ubuntu. But at the same time, it's written. Oh, these are the different, usually it's like four. These are the four things that are needed for you to get a refund. It's like, all right. Like it is yeah. it just took time. Um speaking thinking specifically of a refund that we just recorded or received. God. And um I just had to tell the dude, like, hold on, brother, like I gotta figure out this account number. I, I don't know it. Uh I don't have it. And so we're gonna get to it. Yeah. And so I mean he was friendly and helpful and all of those things. However, it's just little things like it's that. It's an adjustment at the mall. Don't buy it unless you know you wanna keep it. Yeah, like so that's a big time. I went to the mall and I wanted to return something simple and they they were just I'm talking about I was in the store, I left the store, came back to the store within ten minutes. Because the it's size the, the size was wrong, yes. and it's like, oh, can you just switch this? In the states, they would just switch the size, Easy. and they'll figure out whatever needs to you happen have on to the back end anything. later. They would just hand me the right size. No, 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 no. <laughs> They're crazy. like, it took at least forty-five minutes. Yeah. Like they pulling out receipts and all this other stuff, and doing all these things. And I had the receipt. But also, I was just in the store. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, but no, they got to go back in this system and they printing stuff and all this. Stuff. And it's like, all this to switch some shoes. Like, and so again, don't let yourself get frustrated with these things. Yeah. Just know it's just a different process. Yeah. You know, in the States, a lot of places you can walk in, you don't need a receipt. All you need no. is a card you paid with. And true. sometimes you don't even need that. True. You give them your phone number and they'll look up your purchase for you. That's and true. they will immediately you don't need to present process. the card back to them. They will it automatically can they push a button and it goes right back to your card. Mm -hmm. And so those types of different things, but I know even here speaking with people at the bank and stuff, the fraud is navigated differently. Yeah. Uh it could take months i guess yeah. or longer to get your money back or maybe you'll never get it back Due to a claim. if something yep. fraudulent happens on your account mm -hmm. in the stage your money is coming back immediately before i get off the phone you have verified that i see the money in my account um that i'm claiming has been fraudulently taken and so there's just it's a different process mm -hmm. and so not getting frustrated yeah. with the process being different <clears throat> but understanding Okay, I just need to learn how to navigate this. Like I said, for me, if I don't know for sure I want it, I will leave it in the store. I'm not going to buy now and decide later. I'm mm. going to decide, make sure that's my decision, confirm it, and then go purchase it. Yeah. So, you know, know just how to move different. So then you don't operate. You don't get upset right. when or frustrated because yeah. you're in a store for a while or in these different places. And it's like... 
can't you just do this? Don't ask people to try to just do it mm -hmm. the way they would do it in the States. No, that's not their way. It's not the and way. And so just learn what the way is yep. and say, okay, this is the way. Because it is. It is. It's nowhere around it, right? Even as we shared our traffic register number, we were a part of a way. We just so happened to be able to go to another location. They had another way. And that's the yes. way that we went. Like, yes. it is what it is. It was still going to be that way at that location. However, boom. We just found another one. And then we were good to go. However, at the end of the day, with it all said and done, no stress. We yield to you. We give to you. And uh, it was like one other key component that I wanted to give, which is the question of the matter. To my South African brothers and sisters, right? I definitely want to see you all chime in in the comments, right? On a positive note, respectfully, right? Largely with the understanding of knowing that there are a lot of people coming globally, and I will say, will come globally, right? There's a video for that, to this here country. What things, what tips, what ideas would you suggest or give to us to make this landing better, to make this landing smoother? Are there processes that are already written out or ways of about doing different things that you all could lend to us or give to us right now I, I say to us to all of us right because yeah. people are coming at different stages and places in their lives they're coming for various reasons and so all that to say when we do land right we do want it to be a smooth process we do want it to be an easy right if you will process and so maybe you all know things that we could come into the knowledge of and so if you do share those things in the comment section below it will be a great aid for us all and i will say that even it could help other south africans because i've known and seen how certain comments are said and people are like oh i didn't know that so thank you right and so well and i was gonna say and for example stuff like our car information yeah. we knew we needed a disc but that's all we knew but now we find out, oh no, you need a disc, and then traffic you also register. need this traffic register, and yeah. like, change of oh, a change of ownership paper. Like, we didn't know these particular things because it's just not the same process that occurs in the States. So it's like, some, some certain things, like even with banking, like, okay, this is how this works. If whatever different stuff, this is how rentals should work. Because unfortunately, we do know people that have ended up out of money, <laughs> scammed and whatnot because they didn't know what the process should look like when purchasing a vehicle when renting a home when you know doing various things and so those are even some of the types of things that we're talking about like hey these are some papers you should definitely have if you bought a vehicle these are some things you should look for in a rental agreement if you're renting from somebody these are things you should look for those are just things because the process just looks different and we don't know Mm -hmm. We don't know. Yeah. And so if you know some of these staple key things in various areas that people need to do life mm -hmm. um, in amazing place like South Africa, so amazing. Um, then let us know what yeah. are some things we should know. Uh, you know, Rick and I, we like to be on the up and up. And I think that people that follow our channel also are people that like to make sure they're doing things the right way in decency and in order. Oh. And so... Let us know. What are some things that we need to know to stay on the right track? <laughs> Hello. And if it's an associated an association with a business that you have, even the greater. I yeah. would love to have you on our channel. I would love to sit next to you. I would love to, you know, let people know that of what you have to offer and the things in which they can interact with you for and on. Because at the end of the day, one of the main things we're about is allowing for people to be them best selves or do the things that they're passionate about or have purpose in. And so if yeah. you have a business that speaks to those things, whether it's renting a car or when I say renting a car, I meant buying a car, right? In the or car even buying renting, area, maybe. or yeah. even renting a car, or whatever other aspects and things and components that make life easy right or make life what it is here in south africa let us know if you build furniture if you have a furniture store let yeah. us know right it could be some information that people are looking for that you could be an aid or a service for them with so all that to be said great people as always we love you all all of y'all all of y'all even the fun ones in the comments and uh we love all of you all at the end of the day because you all are god's children and we appreciate you for rocking with us as a family on this channel and subscribe to the channel right i didn't even yes. say it in, in any of these recent videos subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so we would greatly appreciate it it's free it costs you nothing but it'll bless us in so many different ways so yeah. until the next video great people we love you all we appreciate you all 
Peace.